Hello and welcome to another installment of AirTech Hunting. Today we reveal some scope cam secrets. But first, let's get some pest birds down. All scope cam footage shown today was recorded through the Element Optic Helix Scope on top of the FX Wildcat Mark III shooting Javelin 23 grain slugs. Oh, there we go, first one down. Nice, Starling. Down he goes, Pigeon. Arrow, big explosion. <laughs> Honey goes. <laughs> I heard a shot on him, so I think I went down. That was a difficult one, only the hit uh, was uh, behind the roof there. Awesome. <laughs> 23 grain javelin, 930 feet per second. They did hard, man. Let's talk about the camera. Now, the camera is probably the, the most important part of this whole setup, and it's important that you buy the right camera. So, what I'm using is the Hawkeye Firefly 8. SE and this is very important the 90 degree lens version when you buy it you'll get two options I think it's 170 degree which is the wide angle the that's usually what those the, uh, action cameras come in but uh, Hawkeye Firefly are the only manufacturer that I could find that sells a camera with a 90 degree version or a, a zoom lens already built in I think they build it for vloggers because it uh, doesn't give you that distorted uh, field of view um, which makes it perfect for our application on this system. The only problem is you need to fit it to the side shot system. At the time everybody were using GoPros, that was the preferred method um, for, for scope cam. But I wanted something cheaper because the price of the GoPro plus the lens replacement everything was just way too expensive and not worth it. So I took a big chance in ordering this 90 degree action camera from Hawkeye, not knowing if it will work or not, but something just told me it's a 90 degree lens and it's not a, that distorted wide angle that action cameras usually come out with. And I just ordered it. Uh, and when it arrived, I knew I had a problem that I had to figure out how to mount this thing to the side shot. Um, this was no easy task. I had to estimate the dimensions and everything of the mounting plate where the hole should be trying to line it up it was an absolute nightmare it probably took me a few days of trial and error because I had no blueprint to work off to work from um, but in the end I figured it out I also figured out that you have to angle the camera a little bit because the Hawkeye doesn't sit square in its casing um, that was also a mission to figure out but in the end I finally figured it out and the mounting plate was perfect so I'm going to share this with you as well. So down in the description is a link to the SDL file. You can download it, take it to your, your favorite 3D print shop, or if you have a 3D printer, just print it yourself. And then you can mount your Firefly. Now in the next segment, I'll show you how to do that as well. To mount the plate to the side shot is fairly simple. Just remove whatever bracket configuration you ordered with your side shot with the three screws that are on there. And once that's removed, use those same screws and mount the mounting plate as shown here. Fairly simple, fairly straightforward. And once that's on there, you can mount your camera as well. The casing that comes with the camera, just take that and remove the glass lens in front of it. There's also a rubber seal in there, if I remember correctly. Just remove everything on the front with the four screws that are there and take it off and so that you're just left with the bare casing in, in the front end. Um, once you've done that, um, take a 3mm uh, drill 
and just open up the holes a little bit, uh, the four holes that are in there. Just drill them to three millimeter diameter and then on the inside of the casing take a six millimeter drill and very finely <laughs> drill uh, some countersink holes for the screws that you're going to use so that they are flush on the inside and the camera doesn't uh, bump up to them. And once that is done, you can just uh, tighten it up with bolts. Um, I will put inserts in here of how mine is done so that you can see that as well. It's fairly simple. Um, and then once that's done, you basically sort it. And then I'll just show, show you a few tips and tricks of how to get the alignment perfect because also found out that with the Firefly camera, not all of them sit perfectly the same in the casing. I figured that out when I ordered my second one, so everything didn't line up. It was pretty close, but it lined, didn't line up perfectly, but that's easy to fix as well. The mounting plate will give you an almost perfect alignment, but these Fireflies, they are cheaper cameras, their casings aren't the best. So you need to fine tune it, and the way to do that is to use thicker tape on the inside of the casing. I'll put an insert here. And just put little spaces in there to, to just do that final fine adjustment on the camera angle to get it perfect. So it's a bit of trial and error but it, it's pretty easy to do and once you've got that um, crosshair right in the center of the screen then you know you're good and you just leave it like that. There's also something very important um, especially with center fire scopes that you need to know and I also uh, made a solution for that um, and that is eye relief. Eye relief on scopes differ and that is a problem when you line up your, your scope cam. Now the, the side shot system, as great as it is, it doesn't have eye relief adjustment, which, which some other um, scope cam systems do, which is great, but it's easy to fix with a side shot as well, and I also designed uh, spaces that you can also download in the description. It's this little thing that sits here, and I've got different lengths for different scopes. So best is to download all three versions. I think they range from 11 millimeter up to 15 millimeter in, in spacing. And just find the one that works the best for you. So up, up here I've got a, I think the 13 millimeter one, if I remember correctly. But I'll, I'll put all the info on here for, for each, each one of them. Um, yeah, once you slap that in there, you sort it, your eye relief should be perfect. Now if you don't use this, you'll find out that you'll get black rings and stuff on the side of your image, um, which is the eye relief not being perfect. But with these spaces, you sort it. After recording that session in the sun, I was pretty much cooked and I decided to move to this shady spot overlooking the sparrow infested roof. Pieces of loud. Another one bites the dust. Check again. As you can see I'm holding a little bit to the left because there's a slight breeze from left to right. Um, I'm shooting 23 grain javelins so the wind does push them around a little bit. They're not as resilient as the 34 grains but uh, yeah, still very effective. <laughs> I just love popping these sparrows. It never gets old. On he goes. <laughs> this is so much fun. You can do this all day long. That one was 81 meters. Man, I love these javelins. And to be able to go and watch that again on scope cam was just so much fun. Well, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this installment of AirTech Hunting. Please like and subscribe. It really helps motivate me to make more of these videos. Yeah, and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Cheers.